Hello and very welcome to the CocoaPot user tutorial part 3. In this part things get very interesting since we will de novo design a sequence for the tetrahedron and build models for this design. In the readme file on github, this is the tet example, which we will now run and demonstrate. So first let's go to the folder where we installed CocoaPot, so under C CocoaPot in our case. And then under examples tetrahedron, we have several files which we will look at. But first, let us open a terminal and go to that directory. So I just copy this here. Uh, I have to use single quotes in bash, shift insert to paste, and I'm in the right directory. So I will now run the Jupyter notebook. and open the tet file. This is just a normal message since this file was saved with Python 2, but without any problems we can open it also in Python 3. This is a Python notebook, so here is some code, and this code can be run using pressing shift and enter. So shift and enter, these are just some compatibility for Python 2 and Python 3. Here we import CocoaPot, so we, again shift and enter. And here on this line we load the, top, the shape that we want to design. So in this case we are design, we want to load or design a tetrahedron. If we look at this file in a text editor, basically this is just a simple uh, file format that geometrically describes our shape. We can also look at them online. So, for example, if I open uh, the, the tetrahedron, so we see that this is how a tetrahedron looks like. And the good thing about this design platform is that we can design different shapes. So, for example, we can also design a pyramid, a square pyramid, or we can also design, for example, a triangular prism or any other shape. We are constrained currently by the number of cold coil segments. So if we return to the tet, here we load the geometry file and then this commands will calculate all the double traces, so all the topologies. Shift enter. There are three different topologies, and for each topology there are 12 circular permutations. And here are the distances between the segments. So the minimum distance for this segment is 3, the maximum is 7, the average distance or topological contact order is 4.3, and the standard deviation of the distances so the standard deviation of the topological contact order is approximately 1.6. This topology contains two anti-parallel segments and four parallel segments and does not contain any crossings at the vertices. And so we say, see also that there are some topologies with three anti-parallel and three parallel segments. So for our design we chose the topology with the minimal topological contact order, so this is either 1.1 or 1.10. So we chose 1.10. Here we are just reading the topology, and here we are um, converting it to the standard form. Now, of course, we have to assign physical segments, cold cold segments, to this topology. And there is this uh, user interface, graphical user interface for doing this. If you click automatic assignments, it basically assigns stronger segments to pairs that are further apart. But we can, for example, switch APH and put it here at the end and click print assignment and it will print this sort of code. And this is the original TET SN. And the linkers for the TETSN. 
So we will use this here for reproducibility. And of course, now we have to get sequences of the cold coils. The sequences are written in this segments file. So here are all the segments with the names and with the sequences. And here are all the pairs. So for example, for pair of P1, P2, uh, it says it's a parallel type and the 3D structure is also given. So the 3D structures can be either in this subdirectory or uh, the most common ones are also here in building blocks. So for example, P1, P2 is here. And now uh, I press Shift Enter and I get a sequence. So here, for example, we we assigned a set pair to be APH, and we see that indeed this is the APH here. I can all also only show the sequence. So, for example, if I want to copy this into any other software, I can remove the white space or convert it to the FASTA file format, and any changes that will be done here that you can do here will be later saved so for example you can just uh, add serenes here for example you could just do this so and you notice here there are three serenes here and now we will write all of these configuration files into just one file and this is this make configuration which contains here the annotated sequence, so the sequence and the name of the segment, and here information about the pairs. And this is all that is needed to build a 3D model. And then there is here some boilerplate code, for example, to write the IOSM file with some more information and write a script for coloring and a FASTA file. This is the same as in the previous APH short example. So now we are ready to run the model building. We will build one folding simulation and two homology refinements of each folding simulation since this virtual machine has two cores. So, and now this will write the configuration files, um, make the alignments, here in the background, Chimera was started and is used to build the initial straight alpha helix. And then the folding simulation will be done and the homology refinements will be performed. So now all the steps have been successfully performed. The configuration has been written, the helix has been built, the alignment files, one folding simulation and two homology refinements have been done. We can open the files in Bash, uh, in Chimera, and we can also color them using the um, provided scripts that were also written with all the configuration. So we have here two models. We can also align them. And see that they are very similar, but in case in this case, differ in the position of the last segment. Hope you have enjoyed this tutorial, and keep in mind that arbitrary polyhedra can be designed and models for the sequences built using the CocoaPod design platform.